the best way to hatch eggs in Pokemon Go, taking over a gym at an amusement park and making it really high level, asking random girls at an amusement park to subscribe to my channel, and in general, just hatching new eggs and catching new Pokemon that I do want to show you guys. I'm bringing you guys episode 3 of my Pokemon Go series, and let's just jump right into it. Played you fast and read you in. No slow recital. Yo, what is going on everyone? Pyrus here coming at you with another video for today. So right before we do jump into today's Pokemon Go video, I just wanted to say a few things that I like just really need to get out for you guys. First thing is thank you guys all so much for 10,000 subscribers. Guys, 10,000 subscribers. We gained 3,000 subscribers today and we're still growing right now. Like guys, I cannot thank you enough for just subscribing to my channel and watching all my videos every single day when I do upload. It really does mean a lot to me and just the growth of my channel and I just cannot thank you guys enough hopefully this is just the first of many milestones and we get to that 100,000 subscriber mark don't think that this is going to be my 10,000 subscriber video you know where i thank you guys and everything like that there will actually be a video coming out really soon on that and there will be a really important announcement soon so definitely be on the lookout for that video also guys let me know what type of pokemon go videos you guys do want to see on the future of this channel i think that would be really cool if you guys could give me some different ideas and i will definitely do them so go down in the comment section right now and just tell me what you guys do want to see pokemon go wise i would definitely love to do a lot of videos videos on it and i do want to just make them a lot more on this channel especially that a lot of you guys do enjoy pokemon go that are subscribed to my channel so i'm definitely going to keep on making videos like that and anyways besides that let's just jump right into today's video so guys i actually went to this amusement park for about two days and while i was out there i did get a lot of different poke stops and there was two gyms there which was actually really exciting and guys when i mean that there was a lot of poke stops there there was actually a lot of poke stops when i mean a lot i mean at least 50 of them at this one amusement park which was just insane. I know that might not be a lot to you guys, but where I live, I literally have, I would say, two Pokestops near me within, like, five miles, so that's really bad, especially where I live. So, going to this amusement park really did help out a lot, and it got me a lot more Pokeballs and stuff like that, and a lot more different types of catches, because, you know, it was in a different place. It was in Pennsylvania, and there was just, like, a lot more different things there. Just, you know, how you go into, like, different biomes and stuff. I got a lot of different types of Pokemon, and I can't wait to show you guys all of them. So, the first thing I did want to show you guys is the gym that I did take over it was at this big ferris wheel and i decided to take over the shim um with my brother and we had like three different accounts which is really helpful and we just took them out as much as we could and we also did have some other people help us out like we didn't know where they were or anything like that but i think there was already like a snorlax in there and like a lapras i'm not really sure i kind of forget but it really did help out a lot since we kept on leveling up the gym and i'm just going to show you guys the footage right now all right so guys i actually just took out the gym with my brother we have like four counts on it right now i'm just going to show you guys what we have because you know i have to show you guys this gym so eric just one over here so right now we have a pincer in here if my phone wants to help holly rack i know it's not focusing maybe I, let me just tap it really quickly there we go okay so poly rack a flareon my vaporeon and then we got another vaporeon and then we have a dragonite and then a snorlax so we are set right now and we're gonna actually try to get a few more accounts in. we're not really sure how like how high the um the gym levels go up to but yes i will probably just keep you guys updated and see if we can get another gym uh it's a little bit farther away so uh yeah i'll catch you guys there so yeah guys i know that was kind of like a little bit cringy especially you know where the place i was at in that specific park i was like literally in the middle of everyone right there so i kind of just went to like the corner i guess right by the ferris wheel and i just showed you guys what was in there and sadly got taken out about uh three hours later after that honestly what are you gonna do you can't really take over any gyms unless it's like level nine and you're at like a spot where not a lot of people are but i did get those 10 pokey coins so it kind of did work out at the end of my part oh guys so i just logged in and there's actually a tauros in my sightings which is pretty cool i have not actually seen a tauros near me like at all recently so guys i did want to show you all my pokemon that i did catch while i was on this two-day vacation so we're just gonna jump right into it right now not really a lot of eggs have hatched because i don't really have a lot of incubators which i only i think has only two different eggs and i got a um actually i forget i'm just gonna show you guys everything that i did have all right so we're in recent right now we're just gonna scroll all the way down to the beginning yes yeah, so when i mean i caught a lot i really did catch a lot of them so so starting off we have a nice simple 197 oddish you know it's nice and simple and then we got a pidgey another pidgeot which was honestly you know weedles simple things like that a 409 though venonat not that bad especially for my level i'm only level 17 right now so that's not too bad because i know like a lot of people get like 500 and stuff but yes two more pidgeys another spiro another spiro another venonat 
a Spiro, a Pidgey, blah, blah, blah. And then we got a Staryu, which was 340. And this is really good because it's um, like a really high level, especially for my own like 17 level. And sorry about that. My phone is at 10% and I don't have a charger on me right now. So uh, I got to make this video like ASAP. But yes, I definitely do want to evolve this eventually once I get enough candy. And then I got another Venonat. And then I got a Squirtle, which is actually really cool. I actually think that my brother caught this for me. So thank you so much, Eric. I really do appreciate it. And then I got a Psyduck. I think this was my first ever Psyduck that I ever caught. Only 236. I know you guys are probably like, wow, dude, this kid's such a noob. You know, he doesn't know how to play Pokemon Go. So yes, Eric, thank you a lot. And by the way, his birthday was actually two days ago. So definitely drop a comment right now just saying happy birthday, Eric. That would actually mean a lot to him. So that would be really cool. And we're just going to jump right into it again. We got another Spiro, another Pidgey, level 25. Five guys like what is that Pidgeot 145 a Weedle and then we got a Nidorion I'm pretty sure that's how you say it and um, I actually did get a lot of those I actually got the first level like um, the first evolution of a Nidorion so I think that was pretty cool and there's another Nidorion on uh, Eevee which was really cool really helpful because you know getting a lot of those candy right now and I actually could evolve another Eevee so I'm definitely thinking about that I just want to level up a lot a Zubat a Pidgey a Spiro, a Weedle, blah, 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 a Pidgey, and a Dorian, which was 225. We're just actually going to scroll up a little bit so that we don't have, like, all those boring Pokemon. So, here we go. We got another Paris, which was really helpful. I got 69 candy for this Paris, and I think I did hatch one from an egg. So, that did give me a really big boost. I'm really, really thinking about evolving my Paris. And then we have an Oddish, a Krabby, a Bellsprout, and then we have a Clefairy, which was a cool pickup, especially at this place they had a lot of clefairies there and a lot of geodudes well not really a lot but i did find a few here and there um here's one right now a 340 geodude which is pretty much really close to being the max cp for my level so that will definitely be useful in the future and then i'm um, going up here i got a nidorion 292 and then this is what i hatched out of my 5k egg a growlith now i think this is a really cool pokemon especially at the first um level of this uh, evolution I actually it ran away from me which is really funny so I kind of got mad about that but I did not even see this egg actually hatch it was just randomly in my recent uh, thing so I did not even know that happened and yeah so I just got to save up another 40 candy and I will be getting the evolution of that and then we got a ghastly and a Spiro and actually this ghastly is not that bad of a CP okay never mind it is pretty bad for my level and then we got another drowsy there was a lot of drowsies there at this place too which was really cool so I got a lot of those candy I'm really close to being able to evolve one of them and then just a few ratatas of venonats and a caterpie randomly there then we have a Nidorion again, especially like these Nidorions. I actually could evolve one of these Nidorions if I really want to. I'm just not really sure yet. Now this Meowth right here, I actually did catch right as we were going into the amusement park, which is really funny. Now the really funny thing about this is that whenever I do see a Meowth on my like thing, because I this is my first ever catch of it, I would always think that it's an actual Mew. So I would just be over here like making a new mistake, and my brother would always be telling me like, "Dude, what are you doing? Like you're just scaring the crap out of me." And then we have an Electabuzz that my brother did catch for me. Also, he did tell me that, and I think all of these my brother just caught for me earlier on because he's still there, and I think he's actually on my on his way home right now. So. Um, yeah, but thank you a lot, Eric, for helping me out. He got a Paris, a Coughing, Psyduck, and a Dorian. And then I guess he caught my first ever Dratini. Yeah, I know you guys are probably like, wow, you guys don't even have a Dratini yet. And yeah, me and him cannot really find any of these Dratinis. So we finally did find one. A Magic Card, which I barely have any of these. I think this is my second one ever. I cannot find these anywhere near me. And then a Clefairy. Oh, he actually did catch me a 431 Eevee. Now, guys, I'm really thinking that we should evolve this, right? I don't know, guys. Should we? Should we just evolve this a few times and then actually just evolve this whole Eevee? And maybe actually get a Jolteon out of it? I think that would be a smart idea right now. Uh, you know what? We're doing it, guys. We're going to actually evolve this up to uh, whatever level it can go up to. Let's see. We're going to go here. We're going to just keep on evolving it. See if we can get this to a high level so then we can evolve it into a nice Sparky. So, let's see. Right now, it's at 26. Let's see. Let's get rid of another EV right here. We'll transfer that. Actually, you know what, guys? I'm really thinking about just making this a Vaporeon. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to call this Rainer. And we're just going to evolve this. Because why not? Anything you got to say? Hey, hey, hey. Now, I kind of might have just messed up right there. Because I feel like I should have reset the app for it. And I'm at 1% right now. So, if this dies, I'm actually going to be really upset. So, please, come on. Hurry up. Please, please, please. 
Oh, of course, I did mess up on it. Who cares? We got another Flareon. But, um, yeah. Okay, that was my mistake right there. I should have actually just reset it right there. But, um, okay, 1289. Not bad for a, um, new just evolution, I guess. I like to have my Pokemon at least over a 1,000. So, yeah, then the rest, kind of just simple things. You know, all, like, 120 and stuff. So, yeah, and then my nearby. Not really that great, as you guys could tell. So, yes, yeah, so those were the Pokemon I did catch while I was on vacation. And I'm really thinking about getting a vlogging camera for you guys. So, then you guys can all, like, see, you know, what I'm actually doing at these amusement parks and stuff. I think that would be really awesome. So, I'm saving up for a camera right now for you guys. So, then you guys can, you know, kind of get into the live action of me catching Pokemon and stuff. So, I know a lot of you guys are probably here to see the best way to hatch eggs of Pokemon Go are. So, while we were at this amusement park, we figured out this best way. And it's really simple, really easy. And we just, like, we were like, wow, it was right in front of us. This is pretty much at every single amusement park also. All you have to do is just go on a ski lift or a sky ride. So, yes, especially up the ski lift, it was at least 12 minutes. So, we were just hatching eggs nonstop, going back and forth up this mountain. And it was just a really great way to hatch our eggs. Now, this could possibly be one of the best ways, especially that you could just keep on going and going until, like, you know, you get bored of hatching your eggs in Pokemon Go. So, yes, my brother actually did record a lot for me during this whole ski lift. So, hopefully, you guys do all enjoy this footage. But I did want to just say one other thing right before I do jump into this. So while we were on the ski lift, there was actually these group of girls coming down the ski lift while we were going up. And at this like specific moment, it just stopped because we were, um, they were just trying to help out someone get onto the ski lift. So it stopped while these, uh, three girls were going down the ski lift and we were going up. And my brother dared me to, um, like yell at them and tell them to subscribe to my channel. So I'm just going to show you guys what happened right there. Yo guys, subscribe to Pyros on YouTube. Thank you. So yeah, that's pretty much what happened. I do anything for the fans. So, you know, definitely drop a like on this video or I will kill you. No, I'm just kidding. But dropping a like on this video would mean a lot to me. And anyways, besides that, I'm just going to jump right into the actual footage that we did get for this whole ski lift. So guys, right now we are on the chairlift at this amusement park that we're at. And, you know, I think this is the best way to hatch your eggs by far because look at we you can easily hatch your eggs and you don't even have to walk nothing. You don't, it's not running anything like that. So Honestly, this could actually be one of the best ways to hatch eggs. So, yeah, some guy was just staring at me right there. As you guys can tell, here, if you want to uh, put the camera on the chairlifts right here. Yeah, someone was coming back as I was recording that. And, yeah, kind of cringy. Anyways, besides that, that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video. Definitely be sure to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it. Definitely comment down below if you have not already and subscribe if you are new. If you guys do want to see more Pokemon Go videos, definitely smash the like on this video. And anyways, guys, besides that, I'll see you guys in the next video.